Ja. Do you do me a favor? I want to get a shot of where we have these placed. So okay. So you know afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. What we've done. <laughs> so which one was that? That was a nine inch. Uh, I believe that was the Awesome. <laughs> uh, way less concentrated. <laughs> this experiment. Ha! <laughs> is that two for two? Yes, it is. I picked this color because I have always loved purple ever since I was a little girl and I never grew out of it. I love yellow because it's a cheerful color, energetic, sunny, and it kind of represents my personality. Because I one time designed a character with this specific color, like the setting is blue, and whenever I like, think about character design, I always think about this color. Like. That is, this and pink. I couldn't get pink because they couldn't have. They didn't have any at Michael's. Damn bastards. <laughs> I think those are it. Thank you, dear. Down, I guess. Okay, thanks. 
So just be gentle when you write on these. Yeah. Because you don't want to pop them. Have a Let's move all the It sticking into anything in the back? No, but I'll get a cork. These kind of things. Annalise is going to break one with a stone, since the name of the work is Sticks and Stones. Oh, Madonna mia, seriously. With a stick. Yes, nice. Actually, I could, after it's dry, oh, you I can do that. that. So. Yeah, I can just take a selfie track. Where did we get the tire? Get the what? Uh, pulling the arrow and hitting the target and the paint going around, it feels like a sense of relief. Like, you're denying what people are saying about you by throwing arrows at it. You know? Sticks and stones. <laughs> yeah. 
since I'm a writer, it felt a little transgressive to be shooting at words because they're the tools of my trade. But it felt good too. That the paint is kind of like energy and when you hit the balloon this energy explodes and, and it unlocks the best of you and and uh, it kind of neutralizes the negativity it's so powerful so it was great it felt great